Infinity Massage Chairs, and today we're going to be doing the install of the Evoke Massage Chair. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to lift up the backrest. Um, you just carefully raise it up. You don't want to bang it into place, so just carefully guide it back. And there's a latch, and you'll actually hear it click into place, and then you're all set with that. And then you can just remove this protective material. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to be attaching the left arm. And the hardware for the arm is actually already on the chair. So you just want to take a look here. You'll see there's these two screws that have washers attached. And we're just going to use the screwdriver that comes with the parts kit. And we're going to actually just remove these screws so that they can be reinstalled after the arm is put on. So we'll take both of these off to make room to put the arm on. Okay, and the first thing for attaching the arm is to actually just locate this metal pin that sticks out from the backrest of the chair. And then you want to locate this little locking piece it has an unlock button on it on the armrest. And you just want to match those two up and it will slide right onto the pin with no effort. And then you're going to take the arm, you're just going to get the hoses out of the way and we're going to line up the holes and just drop the arm in place onto the chair so that we can put the screws back in the holes. Okay, now we're just going to take the hoses from the armrest and we're just going to match them up. They're color coded, so you've got a black hose. Attach the black hose to the black hose. Make sure it goes on all the way nice and tight. I'm going to do the same thing with the green hose and the blue hose. Push it on nice and tight. done attaching this arm and you can do the same for the other arm and now we'll just take the cushion the bottom cushion and you're going to take the rounded area of the cushion that goes to the back of the chair so we're just gonna sort of fit it into place it's actually held in with velcro so once we get it patched in here it'll just stick down on its own and we're gonna take these two hoses there's a, a beige hose and a green hose and hook them up to the hoses at the bottom here Get them close so that you can put those hoses together. And then from there you just take the cushion and push it down nice and tight against the Velcro so that it'll stay in place. Okay, and now we're going to install the backrest cushion and there's a zipper. Actually the zipper is on top of the backrest cushion and you'll see there's a zipper on top of the backrest as well. So really easy, just line these up and zip it into place. You want to do the top first so that it's, it gives it a good lineup so that you can do the, the other zippers along the side a little bit easier. So we're going to zip the two sides on and then we're going to locate the cable that comes out of the backrest cushion and then we're going to locate the cable from the bottom base of the chair. plug those together. That is the connection for the backrest here. And once those are connected together, you just want to tuck it in. And the backrest is complete. Okay, and then you just take the, the head cushion, which has this flap with Velcro on it. On the back of the chair, you're going to see there's a, a protective cover over the Velcro. You just want to go ahead and peel that off. You just toss that away. And then you take the head cushion and you just Velcro it onto the chair. Okay, so now we move around to the back of the chair. And there's a couple of important things here. We've got the round connector for the remote control. And we're gonna take that round connector, make sure the little arrow is at the top, and then just plug that in, nice and secure. And then we'll take the power cord. We'll also plug that in back here. And point of, point of knowledge here, the on-off switch is actually located right here. And next to the on-off switch is where the fuses go. So if you have a problem with power, you want to check the fuses. Okay, and then at this point, you just want to plug in the remote control, power up the chair. And you'll see right next to the on-off button, you're going to push the on-off button, obviously, to turn it on. And then right next to that is a quick relaxation button. Just go ahead and push that to activate the chair. And we're going to go over the whole chair, we're going to watch, we're going to make sure all of the airbags are operating correctly, make sure the arm airbags are inflating, 
the calf airbags are inflating, the leg rest airbags are inflating. Let's just go through everything, make sure everything works. And once we've done that, the installation of the Evoke is complete.